Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about five deals, five different deals that people utilize in the ATM business that maybe you guys aren't aware of. All right, always remember we have an ATM A to Z course that teaches you from A to Z how to get in an ATM business and how to be successful in an ATM business. We also have an ATM Mastermind group page that's free to join for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business and be in a like-minded community of other ATM business owners. All right, go with five. Five's alive, always go with five. Trying to rhyme, not so good. All right, here we go. Point number one, it's just a standard surcharge deal. What is that? Standard surcharge deal is we charge $3 and then we pay a commission to the location owner. Usually somewhere between 25 cents and as much as $1.50, depending on the location, depending on a transaction, depending on the deal. But for this example, we're just gonna use $3 surcharge. We get 50 cents to the location owner. We pay them at the end of the month. Some, some of you guys will do it by a check other of you guys will do it by an ACH. I highly encourage you always give a statement and always let your customer know and make it exactly in routine, same time every month so there it's consistent. I'm a big person on consistency. So point number two is you're gonna pay the location a placement fee. That's what I'll call it, okay? Little incentive to either go with you or to, to move in your direction. So what is that, Phil? It'd be something anywhere from $100 I've seen as much as up to $1,000. You're gonna pay the location to place your ATM. Make sure you get the good location agreement. Make sure that's part of your deal, but that'll incentivize the location owner to go with you. Let's say for this example, you pay him $100 and he goes with you versus somebody else. Point number three, I see this a lot in truck stops or heavy volume. You pay the location rent or a set amount every month. So let's say what happened is, uh, a location owner put an ATM in a truck stop. They're making, the location owner's making somewhere between a thousand and two thousand dollars every month, but it fluctuates like this. So what happens is now you just you just eliminate the baloney and you say, look, I was just gonna pay you fifteen hundred dollars a month because some months you win, some months you lose, but that way the owner knows exactly what they're gonna get. It's standard fifteen hundred dollars. Usually they wanna do that for the most part because they've been manipulates or somebody has cheated them and so they said I just want a flat amount but if you see run into that that's what that is that's how it got there that location owner has probably been there for a long time or that group if it's a truck stop been there for a long time and that's what they want they've talked to other truck stop owners and they just want a standard set amount every month point number four this was really popular back before EMV is hundred percent of the surcharge goes to the location owner. So guys guys like me have been in the business for a long time, we've been in there for 20 years. Instead of having 15, 20, 25 ATMs sitting around not doing anything, some of these guys, what they would do is they would find these locations, some gas stations, some convenience stores, some liquor stores, and they would put an old ATM, they would just give it to the location owner, and the location owner would put their own money in, and they would keep 100% of the surcharge. That guy didn't have anything invested. Maybe he worked that deal to get other stores. He did something, but that's what the deal was. Again, the location owner would put, you would own the ATM, location owner would put their own money, location owner would make 100% of the surcharge. Point number five, you sell the ATM to the location owner. You write yourself up a service contract, something anywhere from 10 to a dollar a transaction. You, you have a, a separate agreement that says, you have your placement agreement for them to sign or a processing agreement. And then what happens is you sign a service, a separate service agreement. And we also put that in the service agreement is in our ATM A to Z course, just to let you guys know. But you do a separate service agreement that says, you know what, for X amount of transaction, even though it's their ATM, you'll provide service. And I throw in paper with that too. That way you still, you don't, you're not out of the deal. You're still in the deal because you because you got the service agreement, you make something rather than nothing on this. All right, thank you guys very much for liking, subscribing our YouTube channel. Always remember to comment in down and below any additional videos you guys like to see. Please share it with your friends or other ATM entrepreneurs just like yourself. Always remember we have an ATM Mastermind group page 
It's free to join. We're like-minded individuals like yourself. And we're going to see you guys over at the ATM Mastermind group page. Thank you.